Hello students, let us continue with the DFP class. Today I will be starting with the DFT properties. Uh, first property is linearity property. That means the DFT sequences follow linearity. Let us consider a sequence x1 of n whose DFT is known to you. DFT is x1 key. Okay. Let us take another sequence x2 of n whose DFT is known to you and it is x2 key. If there is a third sequence x3 n which is given as a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n then what is the DFT of x3 of n? DFT of x3 of n is equal to obviously a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k. If it follows this property then it is called as then the sequence is called as uh, linear. Okay. That is what is the linearity property. It is very easy for you to uh, prove that. Hmm? Let us consider the proof for this. Hmm? Uh, let us have the DFT of the third sequence directly. DFT of DFT of x3 of n hmm? is equal to is equal to summation summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x3 of n wn raised to kn. But you know that x3 of n is nothing but is nothing but a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n hmm? wn raised to kn. Now obviously this comes inside hmm? when it comes inside obviously a1 is a constant i will just represent it in that manner a1 this summation goes inside similarly wn raise comes inside hmm? x1 of n x1 of n wn raise to kn n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 similarly plus a2 summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n wn raised to kn a1 but what about this this is obviously the formula of x1 k plus a2 this is nothing but x2 k hmm? hence dft of x3 of n is given by this this is the proof hmm? this is the proof uh, a simple proof this you have come across so many times hmm? Uh, the next property is a time shift property. Let us see what exactly is a time shift property. Hmm? Time shift property. See the time shift property says that suppose there is a sequence x of n whose DFT is known to you as x, x of k, hmm? not x on k, x of k. Then, then suppose I, I shift this sequence circularly by m units. That means a new sequence x of n minus m hmm? modulo n sequence. That means this is circularly shifted by how many units? m units. You have seen in the last class as well as assignments you have solved x of n minus 2 you are representing circularly and shifting it to units hmm? like that. Uh, suppose you are having a circularly shifted signal x of n minus m the corresponding DFT corresponding DFT is given by wn raised to mk into x of k. What is x of k? x of k is this. Hmm? x of k is the uh, signal Okay, signal this. Now I have to uh, prove this. I have to prove this. The proof can be taken here. Hmm? Proof can be taken. Let us consider IDFT formula and prove that. Hmm? IDFT formula and prove that. Let us consider from IDFT huh? 
from IDFT x of n x of n is given by okay this I am just starting the proof for this above property hmm? x of n is given by 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k x of k wn raised to hmm, wn raised to minus kn wn raised to minus kn right this is idft formula not dft formula please refer back my uh, videos hmm, this is the formula of idft what is idft actually finding out x of n you are given with x of k hmm? now what i am doing uh, let n be represented as n minus m okay n minus m now what i am doing is instead of n i am writing n minus m is equal to 1 over n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k nothing changes here because this is variable k wn raised to minus k n instead of m n minus m correct n minus m now again this is equal to 1 over n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n raised to minus k n w n raised to k into m k into m right just now what I do here is 1 over n 1 over n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus m x of k hmm, into wn raised to km hmm, into wn raised to minus km I just brought it near to this that's all hmm, near to this that's all now you can see I have made one change here instead of n I wrote n minus m what is the reflection of that in the DFT DFT has changed it to x of k into wn raised to km hmm? very simple here x of n minus m was there what is the corresponding DFT it is x of k into wn raised to km hence 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 it is very it implies me that hmm, if x of n is having x of k then x of n minus m will be having dft which is wn raised to km into x of k isn't it that's what is the proof hmm? that's what is the proof you can see here x of n minus m when it is no instead of x of k it came out to be wn raised to km everything else is same same formula wn raised to minus km is there wn raised to minus km is there but instead of x of k there is wn raised to km into x of k hence dft of x of n minus m is given by wn raised to km into x of k this is called as circular time shift property okay very important circular time shift property in the next board i will solve the numerical example for this hmm? numerical example for this let me solve the numerical example continuing with our uh, uh, discussion on uh, dft properties I, in this board I will just take a numerical example uh, where we shall understand the time shifting property in detail ok now let me take this example example 1 where x of n is taken as 1 2 3 4 hmm? I have to find find dft of x of n minus 2 using time shift property this is also called as a circular time shift property ok uh, let us solve this example first x of n x of n minus 2 means what see you know that x of n is represented circularly in this manner 1 2 3 and 4 this is x of n isn't it what is x of n minus 2 x of n minus 2 is now 1 
2, 3, 4, shifting it 2 units. Hmm? You see, x of n minus 2 is given as 3, 4, 1, 2. 3, 4, 1, and 2. This is a new sequence. I know if I know the DFT of original sequence x of n, I can find the DFT of shifted sequence 3, 4, 1, 2 using time shifting property. Hmm? Now, this is a new sequence. Let me call it as y of n. Hmm? Y of n. Now, <coughs> x of n, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever is there, no? What about its DFT x of k? x of k, already you have found in your previous sessions, hmm? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, its DFT was found, correct? If you remember, it is 10 minus 2 plus J2 minus 2 and minus 2 minus J2. This was DFT of 1, 2, 3, 4, X of K. Now, I have to find the DFT of 3, 4, 1, 2. Now, according to time shifting property, according to time shifting property, X of N if its DFT is x of k, then x of n minus 2 is having DFT, DFT which is given by Wn raised to 2k, mk, huh? n minus m is having Wn raised to mk into x of k. x of k is the original DFT. Here it is getting multiplied by Tweedle factor Wn raised to 2k, hmm? Wn raised to 2k. Now, this is a new sequence. Hmm? This is a new sequence. I have to find that. Now, already in this is n is equal to 4. You know that the Tweedle factor in the case of n equal to 4, you already know it. Hmm? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is W4, 0, 1. This is minus j, hmm? W4, 1. W4, 2, which is minus 1. W4, 3, which is plus j. Okay, this already you know. Now let us apply this. Now y of hmm, y of k y of k. What is y of k? The new sequence is equal to w n raised to 2k into x of k. It is original sequence. Now y of 0 is equal to k became 0 now w n, n is 4 anyway, 2 into k, k is 0, 0 into x of 0, wn 0, wn 0, w 4 0 is 1, 1 into x of 0, x of 0 is 10, is equal to 10. Similarly, y of 1, y of 1 is equal to, k became 1 now, w n raised to 2 into 1, w n 2 into x of 1, wn2, wn2, that means minus 1 into x of 1, minus 2 plus j2 is equal to 2 minus j2. Now, y of 1, sorry, y of 2, y of 2 is equal to, y of 2 is equal to k became 2 now, k became 2, wn raised to 2 into 2, wn raised to 4, 4 into x2 double n raised to 4 double n raised to 4 means uh, 0 isn't it w4 0 it is it is equal to 1 into x of 2 x of 2 is minus 2 is equal to my answer is minus 2 now last one y of 3 is equal to k became 3 now w n raised to 2 into 3 6 6 into x of 3 Wn6, Wn6 means what? Wn2, correct? 4 point middle factor, Wn4, 4, uh, Wn6 means it is Wn2 into x of 3, minus 2, minus j2. But already you know that Wn2 is, uh, Wn2 is minus 1, minus 1 into minus 2, minus j2, it became 2 plus j2. Hmm? Hence, my answer became y of k is equal to is equal to 10 2 minus j2 minus 2 2 plus j2 see 
original sequence 1 2 3 4 was given its dft is known to you okay a new shifted signal was there 3 4 1 2 what exactly is shifted signal x of n minus 2 its dft is found with the help of time shifting property okay please uh, see this uh, property it is very important property okay uh, property i will write again if x of n is there its dft is known to you as x of k then x of n minus m x of n minus m will be having wn raised to mk into x of k hmm? dft can be found of shifted signal with the help of wn raised to mk multiplication this is the time shift property okay thank you uh, i will just give assignment here the assignment which is there i want you to find x of n x of n i'm just assignment number uh, 6 i think no okay x of n i'm just giving it as 1 1 minus 1 1 okay I want you to find, I want you to find a new signal, DFT of new signal Y of N, hmm, which is X of N minus 2, hmm, X of N minus 2. What you have to do now? First step, X of N is given, no? Find X of K. Once you found X of K, use this X of K so as to find Y of K using the time shifting property. That's what you have to do. Hmm? Please solve this and post me in your group. Let me see how many of you will try this example. Okay, thank you.